pressed it when the time is done. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're now going to be going to grab ourselves some breakfast in a very, very unique cafe that I've never been to before. We will then be going on an amazing adventure. So make sure you guys check out today's vlog. It'll be fun, it'll be interesting, and it'll be full of happy memories. <laughs> Money can buy food, but no one sold satisfaction. Look at that, so cool, you know. Spanish latte. We have got this again two days in a row. Let's give it a go. Bismillah. Guys, this is so good. If you ever come to Dubai, I would highly recommend getting the Spanish latte. It is like a creamy iced latte with a bit of like caramel. My two friends, they both got sandwiches. This is a chicken sandwich and that is a Mediterranean sandwich. I have some sausages and scrambled eggs and a combination of bread. just had our breakfast the breakfast was amazing I really like the different flavors that I had on my palate and now we are going to be going on an amazing adventure I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe <laughs> I could think how you um UK look can I get large? Large? Yeah, because I'm five. UK. Okay, thank you. Got these for free, which are like the slippers that we can wear around. This feels it does feel warm. <laughs> Oh, this is thank you. Warm, isn't it? Yeah. 
Oh, this is nice, you know. Guys, my feet are really, 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 really hot. These don't help. The only thing is you can't carry a sandal. But these do not help with the heat. I thought that I could do this ride, guys. But unfortunately, I couldn't. My heart, my heart can't handle it. the purple ride guys this is the ride it's called blackout these are the rules Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back to the hotel have a shower i need to pray and then we are gonna go and get some dinner i'm so so hungry that dress there the arms the legs honestly it was mad it was i Yo, this is a pole plant. Got myself a ginger ale. Margarita pizza. Got myself a Wagyu burger. Mm. Food is up. Oh, my stomach lining is up. Huh? Yeah, this is insane. Crunchy, but airy inside. Keep it fresh. What's that? I'll just separate it all. Right here. Right, Have some great 
I'm a big sushi fanatic and I love sushi. This sushi was the most tasteless sushi I've ever tasted. The calamari came at the end and when I tell you, I didn't know whether it was calamari or an eraser. It was the most chewiest thing I've ever tasted. And I know calamari is chewy, but this was too extreme. Would I recommend Namos? No. But it is very beautiful. You could take some beautiful photos. Look at the whole Dior setup. There's even some, you know, some beds. Flat white, Spanish latte, cinnamon, what's that? Ice chocolate. Ice chai latte? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have come to a really nice breakfast spot called Breakfast and Brunch. Oh, Brunch and cake. This is a Spanish latte. But I think that's an ice cream. Or an ice bowl. A, a little ice bowl. This is so nice. And this is the ice chai latte. This is really nice. It tastes like a chai latte. And I got myself again. It's flat white. <laughs> basic. Very basic. <laughs> Guys, so I got myself a cheese toasty with scrambled egg. My friend here got an egg scrambled toast. We got some fruits. And we got a French toast. Oh, that looks sensational. Can't wait to bite into that. <laughs> this is a cheese toasty. The scrambled egg. I can smell the egg. Puzzles. This is the cheese toasty with egg. We're gonna have some. My you ruin everything. I cut it. That's it. <laughs> wow. That was a big bite, eh? Mmm! Mmm! Okay, that's it now. Was it nice? It was nice and crunchy. Okay. <laughs> With a little, like, an orange meringue taste. Today we will be taking on another challenge. Every day is a new challenge. We will be going to the ice bar. The ice bar is a bar that's made fully of ice and it's going to be freezing and it's going to be cold and it's going to be, I'll just be shivering the whole time. Times. Oh, it's so cold in here. It's like a little mini, mini. Yeah, I wish I were Mubasa though. So we get um, a hat, gloves, jacket, shoes, and then we put our shoes in there. You know these gloves here? They're the one handed ones. So my things are gonna freeze. Guys, right, so this is how I look. Cap with the shoes and the gloves. This is like me. It's giving a voyage. It's giving. I'm going on an expenditure. Exp expenditure. I don't know how to say that word, but yeah. Why does this look scary? Because this. I just placed them on when you enter the first table. First a table? Yeah, they are on a train. Okay. Because this is. Sorry. It looks like I'm in the fridge at work, like I'm in Tesco's fridge. As soon as you walk in, you're walking through there and then you walk to, through these like ice sculptures. As you guys can see, these are like uh, penguins and that's a big penguin. At the top, there's these like ice particles. Um, there's like an igloo, there's a statue. There's a chair. Oh, look at these. There's 
like a fake thing. There's a table where you guys can... and they can have your little birthday if you want a birthday celebration with the kids. Bring them here. dance here if you want like go like this is how it looks this is like the, the place it feels like i'm in like, you know like a supermarket freezer that's how it feels like some hot chocolate it's not that cold like i would it oh these are soft this is giving jail vibes mm, this is good hot chocolate guys she just sat here you should be moving keeping the blood circulating it's coming from there oh this is where they make it It is so warm here and then my blood said that was really fun like my face tightened up oh my god your glasses are suiting me look at glasses they froze i bet if i dash them now they'll break we, so we stayed there for 30 minutes and the, it didn't feel like 30 minutes it kind of flew because we just sat there drinking hot chocolates and listening to music it was a great experience i can now say that i've been to the coldest cafe in the world it's my face guys it's like i got a botox for free I got myself uh, a vegetable, vegetable chow mein, sweet and sour chicken, chili beef, and mirinda. It tastes good, crunchy. Let's try the vegetable chow mein, sweet and sour chicken. Very nice. This is so juicy. Um, we are going to be going to a different hotel. Decided to go to a hotel that's closer to the soup. Hey, oh, thank you. So this is the room, as you guys can see on the left hand side, there's some coffee biscuits and some water. We have a living area um, with a TV, aircon is blaring. And in this room, we have the bedroom, two beds, one for me, one for Emil, below dryer, somewhere we can sit and do whatever. And this is the bathroom, a whole bath right in the middle. We have a shower, um, which I'll probably use more time. Oh, we even have an area to sit and have a cup of tea maybe, or. Um, and those are the con body wash conditioner shampoos. This is uh, the area where you, you know, brush your teeth and whatnot. Two robes. And in here is the bathroom. Quite spacious and a bidet. Beautiful. Let me turn off the lights. We need to get going, Amel. We need to go to Sukh. So let me show you guys the view at night. This is our view at night. It is beautiful. Guys, this is where we're at. Love brightness. Look at these spices on the floor. We're running late. Is this spice village? Look at all these spices. Is that for? Wow, it is so bright here. Guys, it is bright. The gold silk. Um, the main reason I came to Dubai was to buy gold and right now we are trying to find a shop that sells the gold. It's a specific shop. Um, I don't see Algebra here but it's... Oh, there she is. No, it's not this is the shop that we've been sent to across the world. Do you have this? We 
have just left our new hotel. We will be going to grab ourselves some breakfast. I'm so excited for this breakfast place because there's one thing on the menu that I can't wait to try. Food in Dubai is like, it's like it's reaching bland, but it's not there yet. So they cover it with sugar or like they cover it with other things that kind of protect it from reaching the bland status. I think it's because of the decorations. a bit of like saltness let's try this salad yeah. I've never had a filled croissant though yeah. it's nice it's a good idea can I have a sip? <laughs> you don't get that anywhere else it's one of my favorite drinks here, but you've never ordered it. <laughs> Tastes like a cold frap. We get along when we don't speak, don't we? As my friend left us to go back to London yesterday, it's quite sad without her. I miss her laughter. She laughs at weird jokes. <laughs> she like, she's such a positive person. This is what I traveled 17 minutes for. This is a tiramisu French toast. Ooh. And it comes with this sauce. I think this is like caramelly. It tastes burnt. Mm. It tastes good though. It tastes, you can taste the coffee and the burntness. Mm. What does it taste like, Camille? Caramelized burnt toast. Caramelized burnt toast? That, sound, that sounds great, you know? Doesn't it taste like burnt toast? I told you it tastes burnt. It tastes burnt, yeah, 100%. I don't know what is burnt though. Maybe like the toast is burnt. Imagine I miss doors like this in the United Kingdom. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought nobody was home. Every time I touch, Dubai has so many sp This is the food court How 
how is there a waterfall inside a mall there's like two sections there's a waterfall inside the mall guys inside the mall just bad guys like this is the future museum it smells it smells sensational in here, it smells so good, it's like food. Mm -hmm.
the deflectors redirect the laser beams towards satellites that orbit the Earth. These incredible satellites can transform the laser energy into microwaves. The microwave energy is beamed to receiving stations around the globe. When these stations finally come online, we will be able to provide the majority of the Earth's energy from the sun. But none of this would be possible without OSS hope. It is the centerpiece and the command station for the entire soul project in humanity's moon among the stars. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Pioneer. So, ladies, you join us from everyone else. My hopes to talk about this such a on top of this, what we need time to the tutorials and learn more about OSS If you have any questions, me and my colleagues are here to answer them. I'll take you back to Earth Chapter 2, the Heal Institute. That's cool. You need to smile or something. Look at you.
Sansa, like an armadillo, a kangaroo. This is so creepy. These are like all the species that they could possibly think of from worms to grasshoppers to butterflies to mushrooms it's just a variety of species alligators, lizards This is like a futuristic bike. Um, it just looks. Why is there nothing inside though? It's a bit weird, isn't it? 
and this are these are probably the futuristic trains by Volkswagen Group. Will robots replace us? Um, I don't know. You know, maybe like in fifty years' time, sixty years' time. So my experience at the Future Museum, I thought that it would be better um, in the sense of like, I thought it would be more interesting than what I've seen on TV and in documentaries. Um, coming to the museum itself, I personally, I wouldn't recommend it if uh, you're coming as an adult, but if you want to come with children, they'll find it fun. Sushi, right? It's only six. I'm sorry, but in a bowl you could have eight. Food lacks flavor. It's pretty. You have a subtle taste of the food, the spices, the flavors, but it's not fully there. Go These are all my awards once I beat you. Yeah. It's, it's so we took a cab back to the gold sook again because I'm trying to find a specific kind of chain for my sister. So we're just going to be searching for gold and also we're looking for the Somali dira, which is like a wedding outfit that you wear for the bridesmaids and this has been the longest journey ever. I bought myself some karak chai for one dirham. Um, it tastes good, it just tastes like karak chai. This looks like apple. I'm still walking, I can't find the gold that I wanted to. I went to the Somali market, I went to two of them. I got so hot and so bothered, so we decided to come to Baskin and Robbins. Um, they have a variety of flavors, but I just want something that's gonna. I want that one there. So imagine yeah, we've been one. at the soap for like a couple of hours. I just find, I'm finding it so difficult. Like, I didn't think it would be this hard to find gold, to find um, deras. Like, there's so many people, so many shops. Like, this is literally gonna take me like a whole week to get through. Um, I want an ice cream because I feel really really hot so I'm gonna get something to just give me a bit of like energy Do you know what I mean? Guys, right, so we've got caught in candy this window Mmm, tastes like a sweet Yeah, that's it No, no, I've got my one, thank you How much is it? And I've also got myself a mint one Mmm We have another man that's taken us to the Somali shop because I need to buy the bridesmaid dresses and um, I don't know where to go, so he said he knows where to take me. I don't know whether he's taking me home though, because my man's moving a bit big, he's been walking for time. <laughs> How's I finished my ice cream? It was delicious. I finished it in a heartbeat. I think I finished it like two minutes. I'm so hot. <laughs> Hi. 
Me and my mom will be there. This one. And these are fake. These little copies. Two more pieces for one shop. What's the name? It's called like Ooh, and Mama. That's the shop that we wanted to go to. It's called Big Ab, but. No, no. And Manal Center. All the No outside food and drinks available. They sell gold. Oh, this place is kind of nice. They sell it. That is all saffron. Second floor. You can find anything, any perfume, anything. This is like the mall. So we are looking for a specific kind of gold fabric for the bridesmaid dresses um, because I couldn't find a dead so I'm looking at, you know, different sequin materials so I can turn it into a dress. I still haven't found the right one. I had the most awkward experience ever. So let me tell you guys what happened, yeah? Obviously your girl decided to like, obviously after I decided what dress I wanted and whatnot, I sent photos to my cousin. And then I said to the girl, oh, thank you so much. We're going to get home now. and We're going to come back tomorrow. So then I gave him some money and he looked at me and he was like, what is this? I gave him 50 dirhams because obviously because he was nice enough to help us out. And he was like, what am I going to do with this? I can't even use it. My heart broke because at first I thought he was saying, because he was speaking Somali, at first I thought he was saying like, oh, um, it's fine, I did it out of the goodness of my heart. But my guy was like to me, what is this? What am I going to do with this? I can't break this. Guys, I was, well, I swear to God, guys, I was flabbergasted because I thought he was going to swing on me or something. I was just like to him, um, why is this not money? And he was like, this is not money. And I was like, yes, it is money. And he was like, yeah, but this isn't. What's this? What's, what can I buy with this? Bro, that's 50 dirhams. That's a whole meal, you know? So um, he stormed off, went down the stairs, and I feel like he's somewhere hiding. I, like, I'm kind of scared and I want to leave. Um, can somebody, like, explain to me, like, did I, was, I, was I supposed to give him more? Guys, my heart hurts. The worst thing, guys, is, yeah, like, I never, I just asked him to, like, oh, where it is, and he decided to show me the way. And I thought, out like, of the goodness of my heart, I'll give him some money because, you know, obviously he's been with me, he showed me two shops. It turns out that he was doing it for money, and I feel like, I know, that gave me a really weird feeling because of when I was speaking to him, he gave me a really bad look. He just looked at me and was like, this isn't money. <laughs> I thought someone was robbing my phone. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. I need to get out of here. I need to go back to the hotel. And the worst thing is, yeah, you know, this girl wasn't there to support me. She was pretending that she was Eritrean. Well, I had to deal with that on my own. No, no, you're, you're Somali. Guys, you can only cross if it's green. Because if it's not green, you could get a fine from the police. The whole double decker bus. I'm standing here waiting for a cab, guys. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. Today is a new day at the hotel. Um, we will now be going to grab ourselves some breakfast and we will, go, we will be going back to the Sook. Personally, I don't want to go back to the Sook because I, I'm still traumatized about what happened yesterday. So I'm going to go and buy um, uh, some I'm scarves, hijabs. I, this place sells it for cheap. Uh, this is where I went to go and buy uh, my hijab. It's called Future World Fashion. Uh, and it's oh, outside see. this one. This is the shop. This uh, is the man. Uh, say hello. Hello, fine. Hello. This is where <laughs> I bought my hijabs. Uh, these are where I'm going to get my hijabs. So he's selling, imagine he's selling six for 60. So like one's like 10. So these are black hijabs. These are the hijabs I wear all the time. Um, these are quite thick. You can find in all sizes. And then he has a variety of hijabs here. Here, these are the ones that you wear under. So this is our last day. We are just getting a few bits and bobs. Uh, we're just seeing if there's anything that they have. 80 then. 80 for it. No. Gold. I ceiling 50 that I'm one yard. Poyo 45. 
These are all our buyers. This is exactly where everyone's gonna be like, buy a buyer to 20. Is that 20? <laughs> Um, um, we've got some orange juice and some snacks. Oh, this is so fresh. It tastes so good. I'm so, so hot. So we have some samosas in there. Mm. So good samosas. Mm. Oh, this samosa is nice. Very oniony. Very oniony. So I ate that, now I have falafel, now I have my falafel with Mm. It tastes like a desi falafel. The falafel was good. The samosa was good and I got these like little onion bhajis, this one I don't like them. It tastes like raw onion. They're nice. I just wish that the onions were smaller. It tastes like a little donut, an onion donut. Look at that, how big that onion is, bro. Mm -mm. This one is the last samosa that I have. I got a bit, I got a bit of everything. Mm. The gold soak requires like four days. You spend so long there. And the worst thing is, is because I don't know these shops, right? And I keep going to shops and everybody's prices are so different. So you're constantly negotiating. And I'm looking for a specific thing for my sister's bridesmaids. And I can't find it anywhere. Honestly, like I've been here yesterday. I've been here today. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know, man. I'm going to go to the next one.